Hi, Rumians. I'm Drujnik. Thank you for being here, and welcome back to another episode of the Garumi Collective in our Stellaris Federations series. In the last episode, we met a whole left side of the galaxy. I don't know if we should call it west. Probably not, but we met them. And, um, yeah. Interesting stuff going on, and I, I, I've been trying to get a federation, but my friends are still resisting my charms. I'm pretty sure that's not going to last much longer, but you never know. Even so, this is a historic day. Several of the galaxy's prominent spacefaring empires, including the Groomy Collective, have announced the creation of the Galactic Community. The supranational organization will serve as a forum where matters involving the entire galaxy can be discussed and decided upon. As one of its founding members, we can take pride in this milestone of galactic history. Okay, so where do I find this thing? Hmm? Where do I find it? Tell me. Let's just check on Orchid real quick. Oh, yes, you do need jobs soon. So, let's give you an energy grid too. Or generators too. So, where is the- oh, hello. Look at that. Okay, let's- let's just look at this screen. Resolutions can be proposed from the resolutions tab. <laughs> Played by unknown. Aww. Adding it to the proposal queue on the left. Yeah. From the- from list we can pro <laughs> from list we can choose to support a resolution, adding our diplomatic weight to it. The resolution with the most support will eventually move onto the Senate floor for the final vote. Hey, I have the highest... No, I don't. Where am I? Here. What? Wait, well... Okay. Why are you so cooperative envoys? 25 and 20? Diplomatic court. What? Well, how do you get cooperative? Base diplomatic weight. Fleet power, pops, economy, tech. Fleet power, pop, economy... Oh, I need to increase my fleet power. Well then, we can assign an envoy here. Why? Oh, so that's that's also why why they have weight. We need more envoys, guys. We need more envoys. So these are the members. Galactic modifiers, nothing. Okay, Senate floor. Ooh, the Senate is currently in recess. Give your support to proposed resolutions in the queue to influence which resolution will move onto the floor. Senate is, is in recess for seven hundred and eighteen something. <laughs> Okay. Cool. And here are the resolutions that we can choose from. Galactic Commerce. Standardization. Leverage privateering. Underdeveloped system utilization. So these are options, I suppose, right? Cool. Sanctions to commerce and industry. Politics and culture. The greater good. Cool. Galactic reforms. Year since the galactic community formation is greater than or equal to 20. Is that the first time you can actually... No, that's not true. If you have influence, you might also be able to... Put something to the vote. Okay, what about here? Before any sanctions can be declared, a resolution must be passed that can cause an empire to be denounced. Okay. What about the greater good thing? Okay, you need influence. Ecological protection. Pan-galactic recycling initiatives. Defense and war. Mutual defense. Rules of war. Cool. Sanctions. Galactic priorities. Change galactic focus. Form galactic market. Ah, oh, that's how you do it now. Okay, so basically, influence is needed. Good. Okay. Interesting. And I need an envoy. And I have a tradition. So, just saying. Okay, let's reduce Empire Sprawl. Thank you, I need it. Like, badly. Month tick over and tell me how that affected me. It'll take a little bit of time. We're at 23, 24, 25. Show me. Wait, did it already change? Before I- oh, I missed it. It was worse before? Okay. Construction complete. Okay. Okay. 
I'll accept that because I have to. Construction complete. Now I do have that energy nexus that I can build now. Hey, let's see. Uh, are we getting something appropriate for void pop growth speed, improved deflectors? We could do something that takes. Um, System survey complete. Cloud study. Let's do the cloud study quickly. What's the what's that type of research called again? Home. Physics. Right. Physics. Yunduk, you are mine. Okay, now go back to Zubin. We'll just go here and then we'll see after that. No, 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 no. Hang on. Cybrex Alpha. Duh. Dumb. But now we're at least bordering these guys. Do you want to be Federation friends yet? No, minus 12. Hey! We're going down! Why? Why? Border friction. No. But I need to send envoys. I don't have anybody there, so you know. Just let's get rid of the Tundrakians. Boom. I've been working so hard on those guys. I still have one envoy over there. Two envoys. I'm not really helping now is that they might be better off elsewhere, to be honest. Because, you know, if they don't really love me, then. What's the point? It just makes me sad. <laughs> and I really need to... Oh! I already have that. <laughs> Expanded fleet cap. Dum dum. Okay, well... <clears throat> we need to get a better fleet. ASAP. Yeah. Like that. Boom. Better fleet, better fleet. Okay. Focus on one fleet if you can, right? I think that is smart. Okay, we have some expert edicts. I don't know how long, how much longer our deal with the um, the what are they called? Curator order lasts for though. Can I see that somewhere? You should be able to see that somewhere. I don't remember where it was. Oh wait, I do remember. 447 days. Will I have enough energy? 5k energy by then? Oh, I'll have to have it. I need both of these. So. We could sell some minerals or something. It'll be fine. But now I need to reinforce you guys. But I also need to expand my naval cap. Oh, naval cap. Naval cap! Hello, does anybody not have something built? Like me? No, no, no. Uh, not really. Hmm. Yes. Post catnip, but that is not... that. That's our home system. Stimsis, though. Stimsis could have two... Anchorages. Beirut could have some anchorages for now, too. Construction three complete. Anchorages. That makes me feel better. Okay, this black hole is not. Oh, Elgate. Special project complete. <laughs> Duh. A vast signal amplifier has been sent. Has sent a blast of energy through the portal on Anthurium. The effect was immediate. The pressure on the far side of the portal is noticeably stronger, and with it comes an increased flow of dark matter. Yes. Dark matter me. Okay. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Did you get Cybrex Alpha yet? No. Ooh. No. New election. That's fine. You're really here. And we can fix up this mega structure. The ruin the ring section. Cool. That makes me excited. Oh, the leader just died. Okay, so who's our leader now? Oh, nobody, because we have an election. Uh, that's how things work, don't you? Think? At long last, we reached the bottom of the shaft. That made an, made an astonishing discovery. Mangled by the crash and half melted during atmospheric re-entry, it is nonetheless indisputably a spacecraft of advanced alien design. 
Despite being buried under thousands of tons of debris after enduring a catastrophic descent, it is remarkably intact. The ship was found with the probe pointing downward, which leads to the assumption that it went straight into the planet at extremely high velocity. We will probably never know why. How the ship managed to retain structural integrity despite all this is up for debate, but the strongest theory is that it was encased in some form of advanced energy field, far beyond our own most cutting-edge technologies. Limbed in incinerating light, limed, limbed, the craft shot through the planet's crust like a superheated projectile until finally grinding to a halt in the darkness. Advanced shield. Option and progress. Gained. Sweet. So is that excavation done now? Yes. And we have more, don't we? Anomaly found. Yes, we do. Ooh, unusual energy readings. Research. Yes, we have one here. Too angled. The surface of Amastis 9 is utterly without precedent in all our exploration to date. Vast geological areas from mountain ranges to entire continents are suddenly cut by shapes far too geometrically regular to be natural in origin. The otherwise natural-looking environments are suddenly broken by entirely flat planes, perfect triangles and sharply angled corners. At present, any explanation of this baffling phenomenon is pure conjecture. Can you, can you, can you excavate that place, maybe? And we have some, um, proposals. From the Galactic Market. <sighs> Is everybody... That's what the favors are for. Is everybody in favor of this? Yeah, let's do that. On um, the ready shield. Diplomatic weight from fleet power. Naval cap plus 10. Ship upkeep plus 5%. No. Those. Cooperative research channels. Diplomatic weight from tech. Research station output starbase upkeep. Yes, that's fine. I don't have a whole lot of starbases. Buzzword standardization. Bureaucrat upkeep is higher, but we have more diplomatic weight from economy and trade value. Um, hmm, I don't know. Epstein. For now. Hey, I said support this. Can you only vote on three things? How does it work? Supporters. Oh, look at the supporters. Details. Can you only vote three things? Let's see. No. You can vote in more things. This is actually good for me. Charter of workers' rights. Diplomatic weight from pops. I do have a lot of them. Worker happiness plus 5%. Workers' political power plus 10. Regulatory facilitation. Diplomatic weight from economy. Worker pop resource output. Habitability minus 2. Yes, let's do that too. I like that. Guardian Angels Act. Diplomatic weight from fleet power. Oh! Defense. Oh, yes! Yes, let's do that. I like that. This is good for me. This is good for my diplomatic fa- uh, wait. Now, the buzzword standardization one is hard for me. Uh, I'm gonna abstain on that. Okay. We're good for, for now. I think this is gonna be to my benefit. I think. Do you love me more yet? Mine is 11. Okay, it's getting better. Special project complete. The void clouds are stewards of the cosmos. Once Grumman astronomers knew what to look for, they found traces of the void clouds everywhere. Formed at dawn of creation, they stood watch as stars were lit and young planets formed. Now they drift, quasi-conscious agglomerations of inanimate matter from the earliest hours of time itself, afloat between dying stars and breaking worlds. They are a constant reminder that we are but a small part of something greater. Humbling. Physics research from jobs, or... Yeah, let's get physics research up. Okay, uh, we have a new leader. You are a scientist. All our scientists get hijacked. Why? Oh. <laughs> Hello, petals of bronze. Welcome with your research speed. I love you. Have fun at work. Construction complete. I can refresh just a little before I hit my uh, naval cap. 
The magnetic field of Evald II experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the eyes as floating leaf. This rare event has interchanged the propositions, the deposit, the positions of the planet's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded by the sensors of our ship, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. Special project complete. The small rune-like creatures known as Orinthi are native to Tanag, where their habitat extends across most of the planet's diverse climatic regions. They breed at an extremely rapid rate and seem to have a particular fondness for chewing on electric cables. Procuring specimens was not a problem. In fact, after the initial creatures were collected, more of them made their way onto the ice as fluttering leaf by hitching rides on the science ship's orbital shuttles. Exactly why the Museum of Exobiology requested Orinthi specimens remains a mystery. Which is the Special science ship that has nothing complete. to do? Oh wow, we have a lot of things going on. Okay, you. Auto explore. Gulanthas are large, flat herbivores that have evolved internal gas pockets, enabling them to hover a few centimeters above the ground. They move about in herds consisting of a few dozen animals, grazing on the moss and lichen that can be found on the windswept plains of Redwood. They are ruthlessly hunted by the moon's apex predators, and our biologists on the ice of Seeking Leaf estimate that only a few hundred Gulantha herds remain. One of these, consisting of nine animals, has been successfully collected and will be brought back to New Leaf. Is that you? You? Is that Seeking Leaf? Yes. Okay, you go get these guys, and then these guys. And I think that's it for all of our animal collection. New resolution? Pangalactic Recycling Initiative. Um... No. 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 Scientist Franz of Green died. Oh, poor you. Let's get a new one. Let's get the archaeologist. Petals of Teal. Were you doing something? No. You were auto exploring. Purpurium has a building slot available. Uh, let's get that temple up and running. Let's go through all of our planets quickly. And Therium is going to need a job soon. Construction complete. Let's build another generator district. Redwood Colony uh, is also going to need jobs soon. Still more energy. Orchid, fine. And how is the curator thing doing? Ooh, twenty. Ooh. We need 5k stats, hang on. Uh, why are we- why are you talking to me? Abandoned terraforming project. Oh yeah, I can still do this. Resume. But I need- hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, mark it. I need 5k energy. Can I get that? If I sell this? Yes, I can get it. There we go. Just in time. Oh! The Senate floor is in session. The galactic community is now voting on a new resolution to decide if it will become galactic law. Construction. Hang on, do I do I actually go there then? Or what, what how does it work? Senate floor. Oh! Look at this! Form the galactic market. Everybody wants it. Curator research aid. Yes, let's extend our deal. Oh, only two thousand. I thought it was five K. Maybe next time then. So how long is this going to take? Are they just going to go slowly through one through the other? Pass? No. Oh! Look at that! Pass a resolution reward 100 influence. We should have put a resolution in. Probably can't do it now. They're fighting. Stop fighting! They're fighting. Rumi and hierarchy with Galeria. That's okay, they eat grass. Which is mean. Research complete. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, cold fusion reactor. That will unlock cruisers. System survey complete. So let's do that. We didn't we say that we wanted Merilk first? Merk? Merk? Yeah, that's a good that's a good 
place to end our expansion plans. The Prekikiti are being contained ish. Sort of. Look, they're starting to like us more. <laughs> That's good, I suppose. Mine is 11 still. Hey, why are you not construction complete? I have an envoy! Imarza? Come on! You need to love me. Border friction is increasing. Building a new home. We could change our bombardment policy. That's gonna help a lot. Edicts, edicts, policies, policies, bombardment. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Selective. There we go. That's fine. We don't care about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Relationships are getting better. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Acceptance minus 10, yes. If I just change my war philosophy, it'll all be good. But she's very, very stubborn, isn't she? Very stubborn. Well, it's just the way I am, okay? You'll have to live with it. I'm a stubborn person. I just, I just... I feel insecure if I don't have the ability to... Should we get rid of these? It costs us. Ships it shouldn't. upgraded. Um, I just, Ships upgraded. it just, you know... Old school Stellaris player here. I want to be able to declare war on anybody. Handshake protocols But activated. right now, it's, it's counterproductive. No. Sire Tendrakians. I still need to have some influence income. It's, it's tanked considerably. Hmm. You should be happier. Hmm. Oh yeah, Federation. You see, if we have that Federation, then it'll be a lot better. Minus 10 still. Oh, now it's not improving anymore. Okay, should I System just change my policy complete. then to... Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Is, that, is it the same with you? Because if so... If so... What is your... War policy. I don't know. Should I do it? System I do really want to federate. Complete. These guys are liking each other too, right? Yes. Let's do it. Let's change our policies. Let's go all in on the um, on the role play here. Liberation wars only. Yes. Ah, Federation. I haven't really thought of a name yet. Oh dear. Um. Random name. Galactic Union. Uh... Oh, it costs influence too. <laughs> oh, that's bad for me. That's really bad for me. Monthly gain plus 1.45. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Hmm. Um, what are we gonna call this galactic union? Um... <laughs> Plant power. <laughs> and they're gonna say yes. Federation 4. <laughs> Let's history record that on this day, the governments of the Groomy Collective and the People's Republic of Imorza signed a Treaty of Federation. As founding members of the plant power, they will now face the future as firm allies. This new galactic union will serve as a shining example to the rest of the galaxy of all that can be accomplished by working together. A new era of interstellar diplomacy has begun. <laughs> plant power! We've met the Moodigat merchants! Hello! Okay, so. Let's look at the new... How, how, how are you doing here on the Senate floor? From the Galactic Markets still going. Are, do they vote on one... Oh, yeah. They vote on each, on each resolution for a long time. Okay. So, this is the Federation screen. The new Federation screen. 
And it's very, very interesting. So, uh, the People's Republic of Imorza is contributing more in terms of economies. And they're stronger, so to say. Um, diverse ethic impose a 50% smaller penalty to Federation cohesion, but we are quite, quite cohesive because we have, um, we do have this. We're both xenophiles. If we would go to level 2, so now we're losing experience with the Federation, but the longer it exists, the higher the cohesion, the higher your experience gain will be. So, um... And we could also send envoys there, which would help as well. But if we go to level 2, then we can do officer exchange. The amount of members contribute towards the Federation naval cap counts for 25% more. Welcoming nature. 50% uh, smaller cohesion penalty on the Federation for new members, and more envoys and so you can go through the levels and and have extra uh perks so we have two members here and uh oh i guess we don't have <laughs> we don't have com <laughs> we don't have the ethics that actually align i thought we did but we have very good opinion of each other so that also helps and they've immediately sent an envoy where do you get all those envoys from and here are the laws of the Federation. So you can have uh, centralization of Federation. So that has an influence on what kind of laws that you can that you can unlock. So high fleet contribution requires level four, as you can see. Um, you can you can see it by the colors here. So we can change succession type, but I do like rotation succession term. Can subject join. I guess nobody really likes that anyway. Vote weight equal. Uh, unanimous vote for war declaration. Invite members unanimously. Kick members majority vote. Free migration is disabled. I would like that to be enabled. But we need to be level 2, uh, level 3 centralization to be able to do that. And, right? Medium centralization or higher. Yeah, see? And uh, separate treaties are allowed. So this is very interesting. Now I do want to sign an envoy, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of one of the Let me think. I could get rid of the Ilkahan envoy, maybe. I'm very friendly with them. Oh yeah. Let's get rid of this envoy. So let's send our Ilkahan envoy to the Federation. And then, if we look at the fire tribes of Yihim, we could offer them association status. Let's do that. Yes. Okay, so we have offered them that. Um, I think that they're... They're not... There's no point in keeping the envoys over there, I don't think. So, I'm going to... Reassign them. Or at least one of them. I'm gonna put them in the galactic community. There we go. Handshake protocols activated. Okay, the Chandrakians are asking for association status. Do we want to give them that? It's just a non-aggression pack, that's what it really is. Mm. I guess I'm gonna say yes, because I'm nice. Um, they might say no. Okay. Oh, what's this? Invasion. What? Oh, look at that! What, 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 what? The aborted terraforming process in Purpurium has finally been completed. After seeding the atmosphere with billions of terraforming nanites, the alien bioengineering machinery has significantly altered conditions on the surface. Something appears to have gone wrong when the nanites designed the planet's new bio biota, however. They have spawned millions of horribly deformed creatures. Most of them died within moments of when their twisted bodies collapsed, but the survivors have massed together in a throbbing, shrieking horde. To make matters worse, they appear to be flocking towards our main settlements. Oh no! 
Kerberium! Oh dear. Can we get our army there? Wait, where's Purpurium again? Is that Purpurium? Yes. It might be too late. Let's see what happens there before we do anything else. I mean, before we cut the episode. New frontier is established. And we have this thing. Two angled. Amastis 9 is virtually fractal. The same wild collisions of natural and obviously artificial geography visible from space are replicated on the personal scale planet side. There are mountains with perfect pir pyramidal bases and jagged, craggy summits. Rough tundra that suddenly becomes a perfectly smooth plain of bare rock until another weathered natural formation bisects it. The juxtaposition of irregular boulders and rocks scattered among perfect cubes the size of a microchip or a hab block. As yet, we can only imagine how this could have come to pass. Yeah, these guys are going to be way too late. So whatever happens is going to happen. These guys, the front line will not be able to, uh... System survey complete. Uh... Yeah, but my army can kill them, though. Colony lost to invaders. No! Mutants overrun Purpurium. Yes, we are, we are sending in troops. And 78 garrisons, so Science I think we should taking damage. Wait, 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 what? What? Oh, okay. I was like, what? Too many things happening at the same time? Hurry up, man. I'm gonna send you there as well. Ah! Construction yeah. complete. Bad purpurium. Bad. Research complete. Okay, we have Mrick. I'm happy. Pop growth speed plus 10%. Fleet command limit. Ooh, tile blockers. Society research. We do need that. We really do, don't we? How's the galactic community doing? Still voting on the same thing? Man. Special project complete. Okay, we found Sneerans. I'm not going to read this now. I want to know what happens here. Needons. Let's go through our plans real quick. You're gonna need jobs soon. And housing. So let's get another city district built. Lichen doing fine. Redwood doing really well. Lily is new. Let's give you a city district. Treebeard is being colonized as we speak. Orchid. Ooh, just has a building slot available. Uh, let's think about this real quick. Energy good. Go. Oh, and then... And then... Get this upgraded, obviously. Research complete. Okay, so they're not getting stronger. So, we should be okay. So my army they're is... Fighting. Yeah, stronger. Stop fighting! Um, let's see. Research let's complete. go for... Well, well, what association set us to the Bodronites? Yes, of course, of course, of course. Oh, too many things happening. What happened? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I was, I was choosing that. Uh, coil gun, mining station output, coil gun, petals of bronze. Um, extra energy credits. Did you land? Yes, they did. They're fighting. Pretty good. Get this planet back for me. We can upgrade you. And we can reinforce you. And the stations where we built the anchorages. System sys. You can System have... System survey complete. Aggressor oh, we don't have that, emancipated. that building yet. Okay. Liberation of Purpurium. Very good. Time to rebuild. Okay. Who died? General Franz of Honeydew. Oh, <laughs> let's not get a new general for now, though. We don't need this army, and um, yeah, it's just gonna take some time to rebuild. So it's gonna be okay. Very corrupt here now. Oh well, we'll live with it. We'll live with it. At least we got it back. So Purpurium should be okay soon. 
<sighs> Let's hope so. Anyway, we have a federation. We are federated with these guys. It's fantastic. It's called Plant Powers, the best federation ever. We're still losing experience, but not for much longer, I don't think. So, yeah. I'm excited. We have, uh, we have friends. Real friends. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did hit the like button, then please consider subscribing. It helps out immensely. New episodes in the Groomy Collective come out about every other day at 8pm CET. And I will see you next time.